Car of the Future, How Tech Vows to Adjust Its Construction, Tires, and Inside Funk. We monitor advancements we've covered that foretold more grounded, lighter, more astute, and, surprisingly, better smelling vehicles will drive tomorrow. Drive Air anticipates our common inescapable future, we've been mining our Technolab tech story back index to rethink the more brilliant motoring future the present architects and researchers are making for us. We've recapped numerous ways carbon unbiased energizers could keep our darling works of art, as well as strength and rock solid vehicles, out and about by means of responsibility and sans CO2 burning motoring, how the most recent battery and charging advancements might give us reasonable, long range fast charging EVs, how more intelligent framework will work on the driving scene, and how life locally available our inexorably independent vehicles will look. In this last portion of our series, we take a gander at how our vehicles themselves will transform from a primary and useful outlook. Lacey Ultralight 3D Printed Structures At the 2014 Geneva Motor Show, the German engineering consultancy EOC showed off a one-piece single-seater monocoque structure inspired by the design of a turtle's carapace and manufactured entirely via additive manufacturing, or 3D printing. It featured smooth inner and outer surfaces joined by a network of lacy little struts positioned to vector anticipated forces, placing structure only where it was needed. Such hyper-efficient structures save tremendous weight, though building up such a large structure via selective laser sintering, SLS, selective laser melting, SLM, or fused deposition modeling for metals, FDMM, takes a lot of time, space, and energy. So much that we probably won't ever ride in turtle shells, but LA-based Zinger Vehicles is working to bring this technology to production in smaller structural parts, with its 21C supercar serving as a rolling demonstrator for the technology. This design, engineering, and manufacturing process could easily displace the gigantic casting machines currently used to produce Tesla's front and rear structural gigacastings. Tires, still round and black, but smarter, greener. In 2004 Audi product placed its RSQ concept in the Will Smith film I, Robot Riding on Spherical Tires. We dismissed it as pure science fiction, but then at the 2017 Geneva show we saw the Goodyear Eagle 360 tire and asked, might autonomous cars be born on airless basketballs? These spherical tires supported themselves via rigid graphene spheres that helped contain an array of powerful permanent magnets used to both levitate, and propel the car, frictionlessly. Citroen Autonomous, Mobility Vision Vehicle We consulted automotive engineers who all conceded the Eagle 360 concept tires, seemed technically feasible but vastly more energy consumptive than any other mechanical means of achieving their omnidirectional steering benefits, like caster type suspension of normal tires. Nevertheless, at CS 2022, the Citroen Autonomous Mobility Vision Vehicle was shown with spherical tires, and a top speed of 15 miles per hour. More Eagle ideas. We may never be born aloft on basketballs, but the Eagle 360 concept tires included other, more viable ideas, like internal sensing of both tread wear and road surface grip that could be shared with others via V2X communications. Or 3D printed tread compounds that behave like a natural sponge, hard when dry, softening when wet, and feature a bionic skin made of a super elastic polymer that can modify its pattern to suit driving conditions. And by including cross-linking esters in the treads, they even boast an inherent self-healing aspect. Self-inflating tire troubles. And what of the self-inflating tires we covered in December 2011? This forehead, thackingly simple design incorporated an air channel near the tire bead, which would ingest and compress a small volume of air with each rotation of the tire. A check valve set to the correct pressure would either route this pressure into the tire, if needed, or back out the inlet filter. Goodyear filed a patent for this tech on December 21, 2009, so where is it? Well, 22 months to the day after that filing, Czech firm Coda Development SRO filed an application for an extremely similar design. 
The ensuing legal battle saw Code awarded $64 million in 2022, but, naturally, that decision was appealed, and in April of this year it was overturned. This is why we can't have nice things. From dandelion roots to tires. For our final tire installment, we acknowledge that planting enough rubber trees to sustain our global appetite for tires isn't sustainable. So in September 2012 we covered research from Michigan State University that identified that an enzyme in the invasive kudzu plant that, in the presence of CO2 and sunlight, gives off isoprene, a building block in rubber that is in production now. And since 2015, Continental has been working on bringing taraxigum derived from dandelion roots to tires and now produces bicycle tires from the material. Odorless interiors. As vehicle sharing and ride hailing gain popularity, we rightfully start to worry about the funk previous riders may leave behind. Science to the rescue. In May 2010 we reported on a compound found in the exoskeletons of crustaceans like shrimp, called chitin. Take this long chain polymer made of glucose derivatives, lop off the keoacetyl groups, and you end up with chitosan. This linear polysaccharide maintains a mild positive charge that can kill many of the bacteria that cause odors. Bellingham Washington-based manufacturer Tidal Vision, has launched Tidal Tex made of carboxymethyl chitosan, which can be custom formulated to give textiles biostatic, fire retardant, antimicrobial, and anti-odor properties. Smell cancellation goes cold. And if that doesn't fully do the trick, in April 2015 we reported on research in smell cancellation technology that sought to generate a white smell chemical brew capable of reacting with odor molecules in a way that renders them inert or imperceptible. IBM filed for patents on this tech in pursuit of AI robots that can smell, but the smell cancellation trail has gone cold. Tiny, electric, autonomous. In August 2011 we reported on a panel discussion convened by Michelin to look forward to the state of mobility during the 100th anniversary of its radial tire, in 2046. The vision was not pretty. With 9 billion souls crowding our planet and 70% of them crammed into cities, there simply won't be enough space for everybody to drive their own 3,000 pound, 5 by 16 foot barge capable of traveling 300 miles at 100 miles per hour with full crash protection. Nope, our transportation pods will need to shrink around us and run in close formation, and the only way to make that safe and sustainable is to automate, and electrify them. To reduce weight, batteries will shrink, and charging will go wireless, enabling opportunity charging at intersections, parking spots, and along some roadways. A glimmer of hope the panelists left us with, North America is so roomy, we may be able to hang on to our bigger barges a while longer. Maybe the future will be just fine.